Dozens of Brooklyn residents sounding off against violence. This is about peace. The calls for peace come after another deadly weekend. According to NYPD data, shootings are up more than 87% so far this year, compared to the same time period last year in 2019. Police say six people were injured in five shootings citywide on Friday, and 11 people were injured in 10 shootings on Saturday. And there was at least one additional shooting early Sunday morning, which claimed the life of a 25-year-old Brooklyn man. The pandemic of the coronavirus, with everyone sheltering in place at home, really, really brought glaring eyes to what is happening on the streets of our community. State Assemblywoman Diana Richardson is pushing for more financial aid and resources to curb the crime. Not one dollar has hit the ground for our community. But I got to call out Governor Cuomo while I love you and you are charismatic. Where is the vital Brooklyn gun violence money that is supposed to come to this community? Global leaders question how much worse does it need to get before there's help? I've been fighting for years for the city to give money for us to have the resources to fight against gun violence. I was told that I don't have enough shooting in my district. Flatbush residents of all backgrounds fear the worst, but are hopeful their voices will be heard and this Stop the Violence March will lead the community towards a safer future. I think if with the right resources, if the city put some money behind it if the federal if the state put some money behind it and God forbid the federal government put some money behind it. Yes. Our street, our street.